Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll see how to make your first one crore with a salary of 20,000. So if you have just started your career and if you are in your mid 20s, we'll start up your uh, investment journey with a foolproof plan on how to make your one crore with just a salary of 20,000. So there's a thumb rule which says about saving 50, 30 and 20. The 50% 50 of your uh, salary of goes to your uh, needs in spending your uh, food, clothing and shelter. And uh, the 30% goes to your uh, spending for your passions. Say for example, you want to buy a phone, you want to buy a bike. So the remainder 30% does the job. And the remainder 20% goes into your savings. So that's the rule of thumb, the 50, 30, 20 rule. But in our case, we'll slightly tweak this scenario. We'll try to go with this uh, a different approach towards this. Let's go with the 40, 10, 50 rule where we are going to show 40% uh, of our needs. The 10% goes to our wants. So let's be frugal with our wants and try to go with 50% into our savings. So that will make our journey target reach sooner. So the 50% of our uh, 20,000 salary comes to 10,000. And in this 10,000, we are going to take a different approach and see uh, how are we able to invest this money in a better way and to make our uh, first crore. So there are a lot of compounding channels available online. So the traditional method, the first method would be your savings bank account where you get a normal 6% of interest followed by real estate investments where you get an 8% interest, but that's like really huge investment which is required in it. So uh, it's better to uh, opt for alternative investment channels. Say, say for example, you could go for a gold investment which gives you like 10.5% according to your last financial year. But uh, all of these are going to take up at least 30 or 40 years of time span to reach your first growth because the interest rates has to be like adjusted with your inflations as well. So the safer method or the best easiest method I would recommend you is to go into an equity method as you have started up your career and your investment journey and as you are in your late early 20s, it's better to go with your equity channel. So the equity channel has given us uh, an interest rate of uh, 12 to 15 percent on an average. So that's the most easiest and quicker way to do or to make your first crore. But this equity channel is again like dependent on different market factors. We've got like uh, so many uh, different uh, approaches or different uh, strategy when it comes to your investment into marketing. So last year's report says that the market index has given almost 12% of returns, whereas the large cap has given 16% and the mid cap roughly around 30% and the small cap has given up a run up of 35% roughly. So that is like one of the greatest uh, bull run in the market. So we take an average of all of these out. We try to go with a different strategy where we are going to invest our 10,000 into multiple uh, parameters we are going to do in a different channel. So if you are in your early 20s, uh, you can go with this kind of an allocation. Uh, do note, I'm not a financial expert by any uh, means. So this is just my way of uh, trying to explore up a different approach to make the first crore easily. So do consult with your financial advisor before investing and do your due diligence. So I would suggest if you are in your early 20s to go with the 15% allocation into large cap, the remainder 35 into mid cap and 50% of your portfolio should contain small cap because that's going to give you higher returns in the long run. And if you are in the age bracket of your 40s, mid 40s or your late 40s, then I would go with a different strategical approach where you go with 50% uh, into large cap because that is going to stand up when your market's ups and falls. Small caps may give you greater returns, but when there is a downfall in the market, they are going to be wiped off from your portfolio. So it's better always to have a 50% allocation in large cap, 25% into mid cap and the remainder 25% into small cap. So that would give you a better uh, ROI on your investments. So let's come up with a different approach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 10,000. I'm going to split them into uh, three different uh, composition where I'm going to take up the uh, percentage composition of last financial year. So this is the returns which has got. So I'm getting an average of 27%. Uh, so this percentage is the target what I'm going to use and I'm going to cut my money into like different uh, quarters where I'm going to put 15% into large cap. 35% into mid cap and 50% into small cap. So this is the chart which I have created and on investing this, let's see how it is going to throw up a report. So you can see a lot of uh, mutual funds available online. You can choose the best ones. So on the screen here, you can see there are a lot of mutual funds shown up here. And to choose the best mutual fund, there are various methods available. I'll leave a link up here. You'll be able to see if something showing up here in the screen. 
there will be a link popping up somehow here at the top here and you can choose the best funds here you can uh, see the best five year reports and choose the best funds depending on your choice you can choose uh, one from your small cap mid cap and the large cap and uh, this is not any financial advice i'm not giving you uh, any mutual funds name in specific there's another video which i posted where you can choose your mutual fund so you can do the allocation as per our chart which we saw earlier and i'm going to see the calculation of my report so in this sap calculator i'm going to save 10000 every month say for a period of i'm going to give uh, 10 years or 12 years with the uh, return as 27% which i took as an average of all those uh, last years report and i'm going to see a report so i'll try to fill in with uh, 10 years or 12 years so let's see how it calculates so at the end of my fifth year i'll be able to see i'm getting 12.7 lakhs as my uh, future value but i'll be able to make my first crore at the 12 years mark so it takes me almost uh, 12 years to make 1.1 uh, crores where i dedicatedly save 10000 every month but all of us are like known to have like a, a growth in our career or we tend to get appraisals in our corporates so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go with a different approach where i'm going to take a concept of uh, step up calculators so which is nothing but you're incrementing your sap values every year so every financial year what i do is like first year i'll take uh, 10000 as my sap the next year i'll increase it to like 10% of my 10000 which is like 11000 every month and the um, rate interest rate is like the same 27% or 25% you can keep an average and see how much time it will take you to uh, reach your crore and the time period is going to be like 10 years or 12 years and you could see that like it gives me almost uh, 80 lakhs at the period of 10 years when I try to increase up my time period to 11 years you could see here I'm getting the first crore mark so it takes roughly about 11 crore um, 11 years if you are planning to uh, step up your investment every financial year so that's going to be like very much possible but in this we forgot to see the inflation we need to do uh, adjustment towards inflation as well so inflation is nothing but the value of money what you hold now and what it is going to be the value after 10 years or 15 years so considering that into the account what i'm going to do is i'm going to adjust this value depending on my inflation so um, now in 12 years i'm getting this but if i change this with inflation adjusted you could see here the first score mark attains in 15 years say for example at least like 14 to 15 years bracket so that is how you are going to calculate now so with the step up calculator which we saw earlier where i'm going to increment my uh, investment it almost takes me 12 to 13 years to reach my first crore mark and um, that would be the easiest and the most safest way to reach your first crore provided you have a lot of dedication and a lot of commitment into your mark and the making the first crore is a real tough target once you make your first crore the money would automatically get compounded thereon and you will be able to attend the consecutive crores very easily in the market so if you have uh, watch this video until the end and if you really like this video do share it with your friends and uh, if you want me to post such videos in the future leave your comments as well and click on that um, like button as well and uh, if you want me to post any specific videos do leave that in the comments and i'll try to post videos on that as well thanks for watching i'll catch you up in the next one thank you